Hey guys, do you know what a hippocampus is? I yep. think I heard of it before. I know, I know, I know, I know! What is it? Hippocampus. It's pretty obvious, isn't it? It's a place where hippos go to college. Hello! No, Gus. It's seahorses. Huh? Wait. Seahorses go to college? Oh, no? Gus, you were way off on that one. Seahorses are small fish named for the shapes of their head, which looks like a horse. According to the World Register of Marine Species, there are over 50 species of seahorse. And seahorses are usually found in tropical and temperate climates, living close to shore and in coral reefs. Seahorses are the slowest swimmers of all fish species. They have three main fins to help them swim and steer. One fin is on their back and one small fin on each side of their head. And seahorses also have a fourth fin under their belly and this helps them stabilize their body in the water. And even though they are a fish, seahorses do not have a caudal fin or a tail fin. They use their dorsal fins, or back fins, to propel slowly forward. This fin can whip back and forth 50 times each second. Wait, so they have a tail that whips, and they're a seahorse? Do you think they whip, and then they nay nay? Gus, why do you have to be this crazy? But this fin is so small that if the water gets a bit rough, it's almost useless to help them swim away, and probably also useless to help them whip and nae us. When seahorses breed, male and female seahorses stay together through many reproductive cycles. In fact, some species of seahorses mate for their entire life. Each morning, the seahorse couple dance to greet each other. <gasps> Maybe this is when they whip, and then they nay nay. No? And the dance involves multiple twists and turns, which can last minutes, or sometimes even hours. This dance strengthens their relationship and proves to each seahorse that their partner is still alive. Interesting. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. It really helps our channel. Kind of looks like this. Here, put it on my face again. A female seahorse lays dozens and sometimes hundreds of eggs in a brood pouch on the male's stomach. It is kind of like the pouch a kangaroo has for carrying its young. Hey, guess what? Male seahorses get pregnant instead of the female seahorses. Wow. The male fertilizes the eggs that were deposited by the female into his brood pouch. And depending on the seahorse species, these eggs remain in the brood pouch for up to a month to a month and a half until the eggs are ready to hatch. Once the baby seahorses are released, they have to fend for themselves and survive from predators. And baby seahorses are about the size of an M&M, and they are called seahorse fry. They find other baby seahorses and float together in small groups. They cling to each other using their tails. And only about five out of every 1,000 seahorse babies will actually grow up to become adults. Seahorses live for about one to five years in the wild. A seahorse is a master of camouflage and becomes very difficult to find. And camouflage not only helps them hide from predators like crabs and other fish, but it also helps them find their own food too. Seahorses blend into their environment by changing their colors. They do this because they are slow. So, instead of chasing their food, they wait. 
unnoticed for prey to pass by, then suck their food through their tube-like mouth, swallowing it whole. Hey, guess what? Seahorses don't have stomachs, and what they eat quickly passes through their digestive tract. Because they digest so fast, this is why they eat up to 50 times a day. And seahorses also have excellent eyesight. In fact, each eye moves independently so a seahorse can look backwards and forwards at the same time if it wanted to. I tried doing that once. Didn't work out so well. My eye popped out and your dad had to put it back in my head. I won't try it again. And hey, guess what? Here's another cool fact. A seahorse can use their tails to grip objects. Did you know that seahorses actually have a neck? Most fish do not. And seahorses do not have scales. Instead, they actually have skin. And baby seahorses live in groups. But an adult seahorse lives mostly alone, not in schools with other seahorses. And if they are in a group, it's actually not called a school of seahorses. It's actually called a herd, just like horses. Well, hey, guess what? Looks like we actually all went to school today to learn about seahorses. And now you, me, and these two know all about them. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe.